Today, I am going to show you the ultimate guide on how to get started with CapCut on the PC or on the Mac. I have been really impressed with the desktop version of CapCut. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to get started. Let's get into it. Okay, so now you can see we are starting to open up CapCut. So I am going to go to create new project. As you can see, CapCut does open and it does showcase all the different windows it has. It has the library window, the player, the timeline, and this is where different effects are gonna be. So I'm gonna start by importing all my footage. So I have all these different clips, which I recently shot in New York, and then I also have my A-roll clips. So I'm going to import those and I kind of scrub between them. So if I double click on it, it will play in my player. I can come over here and I can really start to see what different clips I have. And now I can really get into editing. So if I wanted to, I can just grab six clips here and I can drag these into my timeline. So I can go through here and you can see I have all my footage here. I'll scrub through to see what exactly I got. And if I want to, I could grab this clip from the beginning and say I want the clip to start there. It's just going to automatically push it over to the start of the timeline. And same thing where if I want the clip to end here, I can just drag it. And really, I can go through all these clips and I can just, just do a new in and out points here. Grab this one, drag it. I want it to start there. Stop there. Perfect. Another shot of the coffee shop. And then this clip is very long until I showcase my coffee cup at the end. And now you can see if I play this back, I do just have a bunch of different clips from New York and it is just going to go through them. And this is a great way to really showcase just a quick montage that you might want to create in CapCut. And again, if I want to be shorter, I can just boom, grab these, grab this, start it there. Make this clip short, this clip too. And now I have a really short eight second video of my trip to New York. Which is pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with that. And if you want you to, you can also add in different transitions. So let's just say you want to add in a pull in in between these two clips. I can just drag and drop this. And now you can see I have a new transition there, which looks really great. And I was able to do that very quickly. And I have a little montage of my day trip to New York. Now let's get into a little bit more of a complicated edit. Now I'm gonna show you a vlog style video. So I'm gonna go back to my import folder here. And I am gonna grab this clip of this A-roll clip of me talking. So if I drag this on, now you can see I'm going to zoom in and you can zoom in by pressing command plus and minus on the timeline. It's a good little shortcut and I know my clip is going to start right there. So I'm going to use the blade tool so you can split it here or you press command B and it's going to split and I'm going to just delete that. We are just going to give this a quick listen to see where we want to start and stop the clip. I was walking all around Midtown and I ended up walking all the way to the West Village in order. So I do see I messed up a little bit right there. So I am going to just split that clip up there and then I'm going to just drag this over and now it should sound seamless. Zoom in a little bit so we can get a little bit more accurate on this. Perfect, that sounds great. Awesome, so that is a nice little recap of my day. And I do know I have B-roll shots up here of all the different shops and ice cream and everything else that I did in New York. So let's just end this clip right there. And now I'm gonna show you how to quickly color grade this footage. There are a couple different effects that you can do. So if you go up in here and you see filters, this is similar to LUTs. So CapCut does have a bunch of different ones built into CapCut, which is pretty cool. I'm only just click on Oppenheimer to showcase that. As you can see, it really adds a lot of greens and blues to the shadows, which really lends it to a scientific movie. That isn't what I'm going for. I'm going for a more of a natural look. So I'm going to just press Command Z and I'm going to create my own lot. So if I click on this clip here, and then if I go over to adjustments here, I can scroll down and I can start my own custom LUT to it. So I'm going to bring up a little bit of the saturation. It's a little hot, so I'm going to bring down the exposure, add a little bit more contrast. Again, it was a little warm when filming, so I'm going to just bring the whites down a little bit. 
sharpen it a hair, and then let's just warm it up a little too. So that looks really good. And I kind of press this button here to make it full screen. Madison Ave, and I also pass one of my which is gonna showcase it in a full screen setting. And then I can press this to minimize it. And if you wanna see it before and after, you kind of just turn this on and off. So yeah, that looks great. And then I'm gonna apply to all here. And now you can see it did apply it across to the different clips. From there, what you Which is great, this is awesome. Okay, now from here, I am gonna start adding my B-roll. So I am gonna to go to the beginning of my clip and give it a listen. Hey there, how's it going everyone? I wanna to talk to you about my recent trip to New York City. So, so here I wanna add in a couple different clips of New York to showcase my area and surroundings. So let's pull up this clip here. Let's start at the beginning because I do like that shot of the taxi. And then we're gonna press out and then just drag this to that portion there. Trip to New York City. And then I don't want to keep the audio, so I am going to extract the audio and delete it because I want a clean sound around my voice. Okay, let's add one more shot of New York City. So let's add this clip here. I do like, but let's not start it until the very end to kind of get that zooming effect of showcasing all the different people in the area. It really showcases the population in New York City. So let me drag this on, and then we are gonna just extract the audio too and delete it. So now let's give it a listen. New York City, so I was in New York for just a day, and while I was there, I was walking all around Midtown, and I ended up walking all the way to the West Village in order to get some ice cream. So that's really cool too. And then let's give a little bit of preview of the ice cream because I know I have a shot of that and I do wanna showcase that ice cream. It was one of my favorite stops of the trip. Cafe Pana has incredible ice cream and they always have. So let me just press in here, out, and let's just bring this little clip in. And again, let's extract the audio here and delete it. That's a really cool shot. And I'm gonna show you a quick little keyframe out of here. So let me go back to video. And then you can see I could scale this up, I could zoom out and I could rotate it. So let's just zoom in a little bit. And then let me go to the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna do this, add a keyframe. And then if I go to the end of the clip here, I'm gonna add another keyframe and let's make this 144. So now you see I have a cool little zoom and it's almost giving a parallax effect to the ice cream. Village in order to get some ice cream. So now I know I wanna showcase Black Fox coffee so I am gonna go up to my clips of Black Fox. And this is a great shot here. I love the wide surrounding establishing shot. I think it really showcases the area that Black Fox is in. Black Fox is an incredible coffee shop too, which I really, really admire. Let me extract the audio and delete that. Black Fox coffee, which is phenomenal. It almost is in an urban jungle setting. So now, because I do mention urban jungle, I do want to go to the end of this clip. So let me just start right there and then end it there. So you can drag there instead of being in and out points. And now let me, let me zoom in. Again, you can zoom in by pressing Command plus and minus. You drag that so it connects with that clip there. I do want to add a cool little transition here, which I think will help with the clip. So if I go in here, transitions, and then I click on Pull in. So now I'm going to just add this transition there. Let me zoom back so you can see this. Which is phenomenal. It almost is in an urban. And you can see we get that cool effect of being really wide. Now we're zooming in to the urban jungle that Black Fox sits in. The which is phenomenal. It almost is in an urban jungle setting that is up on Madison Ave. And I also passed one of my favorite. Okay, and let me just drag this clip out a lot, a little bit so you can tell after I say Madison Ave. Go. Black Fox coffee, which is phenomenal. It almost is in an urban. I love that transition. And it's so cool that these transitions are included in the free version of CapCut. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go with my clip of Felix. So let me go back to here and then this clip here. Let's just in. Oh, and again, I am using I and O on the keyboard to do a quick in and out. So let's add this clip here. And because I do have a cut here, I do want to cover the cut so I don't have a jump cut. So let me just do that. Extract the audio, delete it. Coffee shops, Felix roasting. So you know I had to stop in. From there, I went to Cafe Pana. Cap now we're going to go to Cafe Pana. So let's add this clip. We're going to start out wide. So let me in here, out there. Let's drag this on. From there, I went to Cafe. Strike the audio and delete it. Pana, Cafe Pana's ice cream is Okay, so now we got Pana, Cafe, Pana. Cafe Pana from the outside, and now we're gonna add this clip of Cafe Pana's ice cream. That's perfect. So let's add this clip here. Extract the audio and delete it. This cream is incredible. If you're in New York, you need to check it out. I ended up finding it. Now, in order to really emphasize Cafe Pana's ice cream, I do want to show you guys stickers. So if I go into stickers, I grab this little arrow here and I could have a point on my ice cream. So I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller and rotate it because I wanted to point it from the other side like that. And now you can see I'm emphasizing how incredible this ice cream was. But let's add some little transitions onto this so it just doesn't pop up out anywhere. So if I have the arrow clicked and then I go to animations, I can animate it in and out. So I'm going to go to in and we're going to have this to slide in from the left and then out and we're going to slide it out from the right. And I'm going to shorten these a little bit so it's a little bit quicker of an animation here. So now let's play this. Pana's ice cream is incredible. If you're in New York, let me click on this clip so you can see it. Pana's ice cream is incredible. If you're in New York, you need to check it out. That's really cool. I love these little sticker effects that they added in the cap cut. I think they could really add some more value to your editing. Okay, so now I'm going to just end my clip there because I know that's where the audio ends. So let me drag this down. And I know I have shots of this part too. So let me pull this up. All right, let's start there. In and out, and now I'm going to drag this clip onto my timeline. Strike the audio and delete it. And now I know I did a rotating clip, a pan of this part too. So let's showcase that too. Let's see, I think it starts here, in there, and out there. And then let's drag this clip onto our timeline. Perfect, and as you can see, that's just gonna end our video. And let's add another transition to this. So let me delete the audio first, and now let's go back to our transitions, and let's add another, let's add a pull out for this one. Park around the corner where I sat, relaxed, and aim my That's pretty cool, and then let's see if we can add one more of these to, I'm gonna do a pull in from when we're on the outside of Cafe Pana to showcasing the ice cream. Uh, Cafe Pana's ice cream is incredible. If you're in New York. That's really cool. That's awesome. I love these little effects that you can do in CapCut and they're so easy. Honestly, it would not be this easy to do these effects in Premiere Final Cut. So it's really cool to see this in a free software that CapCut is offering. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to add music to this. So let me zoom out of my timeline and then we're gonna to go to audio. They have a lot of music that you can choose from. I am not online right now, so I am going to just use this clip that I downloaded previously. And you can preview it here. Sounds pretty good, so let's drag and drop it there. And then, I know it's gonna be really loud at first, but first let's go this to the end and then let's cut that there so we know the music is the same length of our video. And then let's just, control the volume of it by bringing it down a little bit. Hey there, how's it going everyone? I wanna to talk to you about my recent trip to New York City. That sounds good. And I do see this peak in the audio waveforms right there. So let's come over here and let's cut the video one more time. And then we can bring this down a little. Black Fox Coffee, which is phenomenal. It almost is so it matches. Let's go minus 19. Now you can see the waveforms are pretty similar. And then here too, we're just gonna bring this up a little bit, my volume. So let's go to four. 
This should be good. Awesome. And just like that, we did add it together a little vlog on my trip to New York City. As you can see, it did not take that much time at all. I am going to play this back to just make sure that it is exactly what I want. So let's play it back real quick and let's watch it in full screen. Hey there, how's it going everyone? I want to talk to you about my recent trip to New York City. So I was in New York for just a day and while I was there I was walking all around Midtown and I ended up walking all the way to the West Village in order to get some ice cream. I did have a couple coffee stops along the way. I did check out Black Fox Coffee which is phenomenal. It almost is in an urban that jungle setting that is up on Madison Ave. And I also passed one of my favorite coffee shops, Felix Roasting. So you know I had to stop in. From there I went to Cafe Pana. Cafe Pana Anna's ice cream is incredible. If you're in New that York, you need so to cool check too. it out. I ended up finding a nice little park around the corner where I sat, relaxed, and ate my ice cream. Awesome, so that is our little vlog that we created. And as you can see, it did not take that much time at all. And I really think if you take your footage, you go through it, and you bring it into CapCut, you can create an incredible video relatively fast. So now I'm gonna show you how to export this video. So if I just go up in the corner, export, and now you can see, you can rename your video here. So I'll just call it Cold Day Trip New York City. And I am gonna just save it to my desktop and I'm gonna export it in 4K. Bit rate you do wanna keep it higher because that is gonna give you the highest quality. Codec HVXC is good. And then format, I do like to keep it in MP4s just because MP4s will play on almost any player. And now I'm gonna export it. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. As you can see, CapCut is an incredible editing software, especially if you're a beginner, you could take all your footage and you could really turn it into something amazing that you wanna share on YouTube, Facebook, or TikTok. If you learned something today, please like and subscribe to my channel as it helps my channel grow. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, peace.